So in the concurrency world, apparently the Hello World program is always something that looks somewhat like this, like uh, doing four concurrent countdowns. See, there's the A, B, C, and D countdowns. And notice that uh, each of them has a specific interval that's fixed. So the A countdown is 0.7 seconds per event. The B is one second. It's the lowest one. It's low, no, it's two seconds. It's the lowest one, see? It's here at two, and then at four and six. And the C one is 0.3 seconds, and the D one is one second. Okay? so. This is how it looks like uh, running. Let me actually do something different here, but it's uh, a bit nicer. Okay, so that's it. Uh, now, I'm gonna do a one line change in the program, which is this. Whoops. Uh, see, this is doing this leap, but it is using a, a wait and then the async IO sleep function, which is actually a coroutine. And now, what I'm going to do is this. Okay. So I just changed that to the regular time.sleep uh, uh, function. And now we are going to run it again. And this is what happens. Isn't it interesting? Notice the, the total time was six, six, six seconds before, uh, which is actually the total time of the longest uh, countdown, the B countdown. And now we had 12 seconds, which is actually the sum of the times of all the countdowns. And this was, when I, when I, when I, when I, uh, I did this, you know, the, the example actually comes from uh, a blog post from uh, uh, Brett Cannon, but he doesn't do this thing that I did. This is an idea that I had to demonstrate the, the importance, or actually to, to demonstrate the key idea of uh, this await syntax, async and await syntax, is that it is cooperative multitasking. And in order to, walk, to cooperate, your tasks must use await somewhere. If a task doesn't use await, it's going to just take over, and then your program is suddenly sequential. Okay, so that's the key insight. Uh, this is uh, I, tw I tweeted the the URL for the uh, GitHub repo of the of my uh, tutorial about uh, concurrent programming in Python. And this was actually one of the lab exercises in it. So if you uh, look at my Twitter account, uh, Stand Up Dev, uh, you will find it. Uh, and that's it. That's what, what I wanted to talk about. See you. Wonderful. Thank you.